Hi there and good afternoon. My name is Chris and I'm your modern 50s housewife. So I'm looking a bit different today. I haven't done my makeup. I am still wearing one of my gorgeous little dresses. But we've been out in the garden. We did a little bit of shopping. So you've got me as I am. Love it. I remember way back in the day, we didn't have much in our cupboards and I'd come home and I'd be like, hmm, what am I gonna cook? I've got pasta, I've got tomatoes, I've got some onion. There we go, that's a meal. <laughs> We're gonna call this game. So how it's gonna work is I'm gonna choose five items out of this. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few in there. I've got 30 in there today. And I'm gonna work it out from whatever we draw out. I am gonna have access to herbs and spices, salt and pepper, and some oil. Of course, I have my wine. Without further ado, here we go. We're gonna choose five ingredients. Okay, interesting first one. We've got mustard, potatoes, that's handy. Hope I get a protein. Tin tomatoes. Okay, interesting. Oh, this one's for James. Mushrooms. Here we go. Last one. Last one. And courgette. We're making a vegetarian dish, folks. My brain is working, and I can work with all of this. Um, I don't have flour though. Hmm. That doesn't work. Okay, let's get the ingredients out. So I'm looking at this going, ew, what am I gonna make? Okay, that's all right. We can do something with this. I do have access to my herbs and spices. Now that is a huge deal when I look at this. Right, we're gonna go a vegetarian Indian curry. I am going to make a fantastic saucy sauce. I'm hoping to put enough flavour into this to not really notice the disgusting flavour of the mushrooms. Happy days! So we're just going to quickly wash these potatoes because they're dirty. Alright, let's get those peeled. Actually, before I carry on, I'm going to get some water ready. No, I'm not, because that's not where you do it. Carry on, fly the bubble bee. Sorry. Right, so we're peeled now. Thank God that's over. I haven't had to peel many potatoes recently, because I prefer to eat them with their skins on, but I got a few potatoes that weren't washed, and they're a little bit older than what I have been using. But hey, if you're going to get given potatoes, what do you do? Say thank you. I'm just going to chop these up into small bite-sized pieces. Let's rinse these potatoes and then get them on. So this is just some iodized salt, just to give it a bit of flavour in the water. I did get told at one point, you don't need salt in your potatoes, but I watch Gordon Ramsay a lot. I love him. Thank you, Gordon. Um, and anyway, uh, he always salts his potatoes, so so do I. Let's get those on to boil. This is going to take us about half an hour or so, I reckon. But we're trying something a little bit different, obviously. I've never cooked with these ingredients before in my life. And we're going to bring that up over here so I can actually utilize it. Hey, my gorgeous cameraman, can you tell me if that's in the right place? Listen to you trying to butter up the crew. <laughs> Most definitely. So I am cheating slightly. I didn't get garlic or onion, so I'm using my spices. I haven't used this one quick enough. Yep, that's good now. Okay, so we are going to start off with our courgette. I am going to cut it into, I can't even think of what they're called at the moment, um, quarters. That'll do. Oh, I'm already looking forward to this. So I use zucchini occasionally. Obviously we know I don't eat cucumbers, but I do like um, courgettes. I know, I'm weird. 
but I think it's more when I do eat courgettes, they've got a lot of decent flavouring in them. Because I eat eggplant as well, I love bubble ganoush. All right, this pan is starting to heat up. Let's stick some oil and some salt in here to get these all starting to mix and mingle, as you do. Now, I'm taking the rule of thumb that these are going to soak up the flavours like an eggplant does, okay? So I'm going to put in quite a bit of olive oil, quite a bit of salt, and quite a bit of seasoning, just to make sure that we get some really good flavours out of them. Into this oil, I'm going to add my seeded mustard, a nice big teaspoon and a half. Um, that's going to start popping, which is going to have extra flavour. Okay, happy days. That's some nice high heat, we just want all that to incorporate. A little bit of pepper. Get those layers of flavours in there. Um, and time to top up. I'll be right back. Cool, that is starting to simmer. You can almost hear, I wonder if you can hear it if I lean forward. And the pop. See, all I needed was a top up. So I'm gonna add these into there. The other thing I'm gonna do, which I probably should have done before, is I'm gonna add this now. This is our Indian seasoning. And I'm gonna be generous. It's got everything we need in here. Thank you, Simon Gold. We really do enjoy these. Let's chop up the mushrooms and get those in there as well. So I am going to dice the mushrooms just so that they can soak up any extra bits and pieces. The other week James and I were um, away for a couple of days and we went to a high tea. It was really good uh, and one of the things that they had was a mushroom beetroot sandwich. I don't like beetroot either, although I'm getting used to it, it, it is a work in progress. Um, and the mushroom was edible. I think it was because of all the other flavours and everything. So I'm, I'm becoming a little bit more open-minded to try different things with mushrooms. Because if you can't be open-minded, what is the point? Especially when there's good food to eat. I'll throw these mushrooms in as well. Oh, those Indian spices, I can smell them already. I wish you could too. Like seriously, it's so good. We're just about to use the tomatoes, but I want those courgettes to be really nice and tender. The same as the potatoes that we're boiling off of the other side. So that all those amazing flavours are going to be incorporated. Because just because we've only got a few ingredients, doesn't mean that it can't be a hearty, delicious meal. I think this is going quite well. Good flavour profile. That was a whole piece of mushroom I've just realised. I still don't like mushroom. Mm. The initial flavour hit was really good. And then it was like firm slime. All right, finally those potatoes are ready. Let's get them done. Okay, I'm just going to quickly strain them. This oil is nice and hot and these are ready to go. Alright, well I hope so. Let's get those tossed into all those amazing flavours. So I want to incorporate into the potatoes the last of that gorgeous fragrant oil. Gonna add a little wee bit more salt. Okay, so we're gonna add our tin tomatoes. So in here, we now have mustard, our potatoes, our courgettes, our mushrooms, and our tin tomatoes. That's our five ingredients. And I feel this is going to be an amazing curry, which I will be quite happy to serve to my family um, as a main meal. All right, let's give it a, a whirl. Mm. That's quite yum, winning. Well, to James anyway, 
Sam's not going to like it because as soon as he sees green in there, he's going to go, ugh, yuck. But you know what? He's getting there. He'll learn. Considering I don't eat mushrooms. Mm.